a very big statement, as I said, was made to all of eternity with the vaccine. And it's a hubristic statement. It said, I'm better than you. I'm better because I can go into the restaurant. I'm better because I can get on a plane. I'm better because I can still go to the gym. And you can't. And a lot of people would say, well, no, that's not how I felt. I didn't agree that others couldn't go, but I still wanted to get the shot. It doesn't matter. You still made the statement by getting the damn shot. You knew the consequences that were inflicted upon others for not following suit. And so indirectly, which is direct, that was your statement. That's another insight. Indirect is direct, by the way. Go into that. Really contemplate the efficacy of that. There's a lot to it. I'll get into that at another point. So the vaccine is pride. The vaccine is hubris. It was a hierarchy, if you will, that was created. Different tiers of society, different levels. Like a Hunger Games society type thing. Or Brave New World, you know, and it's different levels of hierarchy that it has. So on, any example one can conjure. And obviously the statement to take from this is that pride cometh before the fall. Hubris cometh before the fall. And the vaccine is pride. The vaccine is hubris. And now what is there? The month of June is an entire month of pride. An entire month of that absolute bullshit. People thinking that they're better than others. And there's no place for that whatsoever in the kingdom of the heart. Not a stitch of room for that. For the foundation is what builds the entirety. And when you start with that kind of foundation... It just leads to the same problems over and over and over again. That's exactly why vision is so important. That's why this is about two crowns. The false crown, which gave everyone the vaccine and made those who got it believe that they were better, even indirectly, even if they didn't conceptualize that they were making that statement to all of eternity or didn't believe that they were holding that conceptualization inside of themselves. They did. That's the fact. That was the statement that was given. How many even realized they were making the statement? If you see other people getting shut out of society while you're enjoying benefits and privileges, even off the backs of others who are getting shut out. That's that's the great joke of it all as well. Enjoying these benefits and privileges from people who are working for you and they're not able to enjoy those same benefits and privileges. Look how many people who worked in restaurants. I know this as a fact, servers that were still working in restaurants and they couldn't themselves sit in that restaurant to enjoy a meal because they hadn't got their shot. But yet they could still work as a waiter or waitress and serve others their meals. It's it's just absurd. And people were okay with that. They went and got their 27th booster and said, oh, this is, this is great. I love the direction that this is going. I love this society. And screw all those who aren't getting their shot. And it was. That was an attitude that was carried by a lot of individuals. No, not every individual, but a hell of a lot. 
That's a fact that can't be denied. That hubris was exemplary. It was off the charts. And yeah, so pride cometh before the fall. Many of you obviously know that saying. So indirectly, the vaccine cometh before the fall. The particular one that obviously everyone had to contend with and avoid and do their utmost to try to convince those that they loved and cared for to avoid, but to no great success, obviously, for many. They just went and got it anyways. So, yeah, I wanted to just kind of address that point and make a little bit make it a little bit more clear in terms of the statement that was made and it was it was a statement no different than the statement of the mark right so which crown is one going to choose is one going to choose the mark that crown, the false deity, the false crown, get a little bit of supplies from that false crown, thinking everything's going to turn around, how the news would, you know, will most likely say, oh, everything's going to be fine, just look what happened with the vaccine, a couple years went by and everything just turned around. It'll, it'll pull that card, obviously. Or is one going to do everything that's necessary? Everything. Answer the call, if you will. Don't dismiss the alarm. Walk the walk. Crown the heart. That's the question. And it's all a free will choice. It's free will, free agency, and the heart has nothing to do with hubris, obviously. That's the big element. There's no one who's better or worse in the kingdom. Anyone holding those ideas, that's the wrong idea. And if you hold those ideas, you can't be part of the foundation. It's just that simple. It's not about being unfair someone who's unwilling to correct their vision well that's on you you can't carry the wrong vision into the kingdom of heaven and if the individual is unwilling to change well then guess what you don't get entry it's just that simple it's not unfair whatsoever it's just you're making a choice You'd rather believe in the vision of the mind and all of its wrong ideas. Well, have at her. That's your choice. Go ahead. Do that all day long. No one's going to stop you. That's the point. And I want to address something else. Some people saying that they're going to fly out west and... I happen to notice one person say that they were going to fly out west and then meet up with me. And no, no one's meeting up with me. Like this, this has to be a troll. You know, again, there's so many people just stirring the pot. And yeah, as a lot of you are now becoming well aware of, there are a lot of artificials, obviously. There are a lot of trolls, there are a lot of potsters, there are a lot of abusers. That's just the fact. And they're really proving themselves out. They're really showing their true colors. And I'm going to get into that uh, a lot more. And really how to spot them, you know, a lot better. And... A lot of their plays that they have amongst each other. As I said, they work as a group. 
and they don't all do the same things. You know, they don't all respond in the same ways. Uh, there's there's a little bit of co- there's complexity to it, and I'm going to point a lot of those things out, and that's why I, I'm I am concentrating on that for sure. People say just avoid it. Well, of course, that's what the enemy will tell you to do. Avoid the enemy. It'll just go away. <laughs> no, obviously, it's not just going to disappear because you're avoiding it. That's the last thing you want to do. Tell a general that. Oh, just avoid the enemy and you'll win the war. Oh, yeah, that's a great strategy. Yeah, you're going to do great. You're going to win the battle for sure. Tell a uh, one you know, sports team, you know, that's going against another one and say, just ignore the other side, ignore your competition and you're going to (laughs) win. It's ridiculous. So those who are saying that, just ignore them. Well, no, you don't ignore your abuser. You don't ignore your enemy. Absolutely not. So that's why uh, I leave the comment section completely open and I don't get rid of any of it because it's just proving it out. And to those who are of the heart, who are real, who are searching for the truth legitimately, you're seeing that. You're seeing that, look, they are just non stop relentless in their attacks. You know, and and they have different forms of attacks, obviously. Some of which are more subtle. And some of which are just blatantly, you know, outright gaslighting. And that's the point. You know, that's uh, what abuse is all about. And it's about creating a lot of confusion as well. And I wanted to address that. Uh, But yeah, back to the point of... Uh, anyone meeting up with me, there's no one meeting up with me at all. Uh, I have not associated with anyone in that way and declared anything like that. There's no such thing happening where I'm meeting up with people early on. Uh, These are just pot stirs. As I said, my walk is my walk. It's my journey. The end. I'm just talking about it. See, I have to repeat these points. And it's for good reason. It goes back to what I was saying earlier. It's because this system wants to set me up as some type of leader. I'm no leader. And if anyone is going to fly out west or fly to Hawaii or wherever the hell, go ahead. You do what you're going to do. And again, it's all about personal responsibility and your choice and everyone's choice for what's to come in the near future. Absolutely it is, but it's not on me. Never try to pull that card that You're making a choice because of me. Everyone has free will and free agency. It's a law. So that's now known. That's now public knowledge to anyone listening. Your free will is a law. And it's on you. And the personal responsibility is on you in regards to that law. You can't blame. You can't blame others. And look at how these abusers, they demand answers of me. I demand that you answer why you said these things. Tell me, slave, why you said them. (laughs) It's just ridiculous. You can't place demands on me. I'm not your slave. I will talk about what I'm going to talk about. I will answer questions that I am going to answer because I feel that they're relevant. The end. I have no contract with anyone. No one. 
no one can say they have a contract with me that I'm their teacher and they're my student. No such thing exists. No such association. So those who are trying to command and demand answers from me, it's just a form of abuse. That's all it is. I'm freely talking, as I always have, as I've always freely given everything. But those who just dictate to me that I need to answer you. Well, am I your slave? Is that what you're saying? That's it sure sounds like it to me. I would never go into somebody's house or somebody else's channel and demand that they answer my questions. That's audacity. That's truly audacious. So, to those who are of the heart, maybe, yeah, just reflect on that in your own personal experience if anyone's done that to you as well. Because it is, it's a common tactic of abuse, you know, demanding something from you. And then one can just say, well, who are you to demand this of me? And ask, just as I have, am I your slave? Do we have some kind of contract? Oh, we don't? Well, then, goodbye. I have no interest in talking to you. But you notice, and they've revealed themselves. They can't hide the fact now. They've been relentless on many of my last messages, my last posts. Their demands, treating me like their slave, no different, as I said, than just seeing the earth as something that's just there to serve me. And you notice that these lurkers, if you will, yeah, they're the defenders of hell, truly. I'm just here to serve them. They treat me in the same way. Because, yes, I am of the heart, which is a reflection of the earth. So, when you're of the heart truly, you become an enemy. An enemy of a defender of hell. They know exactly who the hearts are. And the heart is their target. So I wanted to draw upon uh, that point uh, as well. And we'll get into some other things in the next few talks as well that I haven't brought up yet. And it's yeah, quite obvious to the true listeners out there, there's always something else to learn. Always. The vision never stops widening, never stops increasing. As long as you are willing to learn, you can never remain just rooted in a, in a single position. Never just stake yourself on one claim, if you will. Remain free to constantly expand your vision. And when you do, then you're free. That's a part of freedom. It really is. All right, that's it for today's message. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.